Hey students, we are going to be working today on your brand new form, which is going to be called Pattern Dangoon. Now, Pattern Dangoon is the next form after Pattern Junji that you will learn. And the background history of it is that it comes from the legendary founder of Korea in the year 2333 BC. Now, just like all your forms moving forward, in order to perform Dangoon accurately, you will need to work on all of your Taekwondo stances. This draws heavily on your back stance, also known as an L stance, and it draws heavily on your front stance, also called a walking stance. Altogether, Pattern Dangoon has 21 movements, and as you perform it, you'll notice that it's in the shape of a capital I. Now, let's get started. In all forms, you're gonna start in Chun B, which is your ready stance. From here, you're gonna turn left 90 degrees and go into a back stance, also an L stance, with a middle knife hand guard block, which is also called Sado. Both hands are open, your fingers are tight together. Step forward into a walking stance with your right leg forward with a right high punch. Do the same thing to the other side. Now turn right 180 degrees, go into a back stance with your left leg forward and a double Sado block. Step forward into a walking stance with your left leg forward and a left high punch. Now you're gonna to turn to the face in the front, 90 degrees to your left, and go into a walking stance with your left leg forward and a low block with your left arm. Now we're gonna step forward into a walking stance three times with a high punch each time. Step one with your right, next with your left, and with your right and yell, Kia, right here. Now you're gonna turn left 270 degrees into an L stance with your left leg forward, performing a right high block and a left outside block at the same time. This is called a square block. Step forward into a walking stance with your right leg forward and a right high punch. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Now turn right 180 degrees into an L stance with your right leg forward, perform that square block again. Step forward into a walking stance with your left leg forward and a left high punch. Now we're gonna go back down the middle section. Turn left 90 degrees into a walking stance with your left leg forward and a left low block, and with the same arm, raise it into a left high block. Now step forward into a walking stance three times doing high blocks. Step forward one with your right leg and right arm, two left, three right, kia on this right here. Turn left 270 degrees into an L stance, left knife hand strike, Step forward into a walking stance with your right leg forward and a right high punch. Same thing other side. Turn left 180 degrees into a back stance with your right knife hand strike. Step forward into a walking stance so your left leg is forward with a left high punch. And when the master says baro or come back to your ready stance, turn back and pivot to your chumbi stance.